Um, speaking of tips, Lucas has a quick tip for us. Listener, Lucas, this is. Says I'm a few episodes behind, so maybe somebody's already mentioned this. Not yet. But my preferred method for capturing a web page exactly as it displays. So the idea is you see the web page. Now you want to capture that as a something. Uh, he says is Firefox. They have a built in screenshot function that lets you grab the visible portion or the entire page. You can either choose to copy it to the clipboard or download it as a PNG. So it's not doing it as a PDF, but it is pulling it in either, again, either to the clipboard or the, um, you know, to just save it to your downloads folder or whatever it is. Uh, he says the text, of course, turns into an image when you do this, but it does save you a step if you want to insert it into a presentation or send somebody an email with a, a screenshot or whatever. Uh, he says, I customized my toolbar in Firefox to put the screenshot button in there, but there's also a keyboard command, which is command shift S. I looked through all the menus, John. There is no command shift S in mm. the menus of Firefox. So this is just, you know, the browser grabbing this, you know, not really Mac like because you should be in the menus, but you know, whatever. Uh, or you can right click on a web page and choose take screenshot. And then when you're in that screenshot mode, dialogue, whatever. You can also click on an element within the page to just grab a screenshot of that. And it intelligently, like you could draw with the crosshairs if you like, but as you float over things in the page, it highlights them. Like it, I mean, obviously it's a web browser. It understands HTML elements. And so it will be like, oh, you know, do you want to grab this little div here or whatever? And you say, yeah. And then boom, it grabs it. But it does grab the whole page regardless of how much is visible on your screen, which is, I, I really like that so thanks for that lucas that's um that's good stuff 